Okay, so what we're going to learn how to do today is we're going to learn how to draw a round head screw in AutoCAD. If I go back to the reference picture, which I've been using, you can see there's a picture of the round head, red, round head screw right there. Now, if you take a look, you'll see that um, all my sizes are defined with dimensions for me, so to make it much easier to draw. But you'll see that I don't have any direct numbers. They all have this little um, icon here, or this little code, 1 quarter D, 1 half D, 3 quarter D, 7 eighths D. And that D is referring to the major diameter. So I'm going to need that information in order to do my drawing. So I'll need to have a calculator handy so I can calculate those numbers while I'm drawing. The first dimension I'm going to need is this 3 quarter D. I'm going to have to offset my starting point up by 3 quarter D in order to get the top of the head of the round head screw. Now in our case, we're going to be using a 3 quarter inch screw as our major diameter. The 3 quarters times D is 0.5625. So I can type in the offset dimension, and I can type in 0.5625. I'll offset this line over to there, and that'll be where my starting point for my head is going to be. Now, I'm going to have to offset this back to get the center point for my circle. So in order to do that, I'm going to extend this line a little bit to make it longer so it's easier to read, easier to see after I offset it. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a minute and use my trim tool now to extend this line. And I don't need these other lines that are here. Get rid of those. Now, if I go back to my picture here, it says that this radius here, which is what I care about, is 7 eighths times D. So that's the offset dimension that I need in order to find the center for that curve. So I'm going to go to offset. And that dimension, 7 eighths times 3 quarters, is going to be 0.65625. So that's the new dimension I'm going to type in. And I'll offset this over to that side. That will give me the center location for my circle. Okay, now the circle I need to draw. I need to zoom in here a little bit so I can choose the correct intersection point. And that's my intersection point for the center of my circle. And I'll click here to basically select the radius. OK. Now, I don't need this vertical line anymore or this vertical line. So I'm going to go ahead and erase both of those. But I do need to extend this line up because that's going to represent the bottom of the head. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Trim. And I'll use my Extend tool with my Shift key. And then really, I can get rid of that other part of that circle. I can also erase this part that's inside the thread. I don't need that any longer. So that's really looking um, like a round head screw. If I go back to the picture, you'll see all I really have left is this little slot that's here. OK, so I'm going to need a couple of dimensions for that. I'll need 1 half D and 1 quarter D. OK. So I'll go back here. I shouldn't have deleted that one vertical line. So I'm going to go back and redraw it because I do need to offset that by 1 half D. So if I go through an offset and 1 half D in this case is 0.375. There we go. And then I need to draw another vertical line here. That way I have something nice to offset. Now the total offset distance for both sides is a quarter D, which is 0.1875, but I have to offset that by half on each side. So my new offset distance here is 0.09375 on each side. So I'll offset that up top, offset that down the bottom, and then we just really have to trim. Now I can erase this top line 
I don't need that. And I can do some trimming here to extend this line, trim this out. and erase that out. And there is my flat head screw. I'm all finished.